Number 69. A heart defibrillator being used on a patient has an RC time constant of, of 10 milliseconds due to the resistance of the, pa of, of the patient, excuse me, and the capacitance due to the defibrillator. Letter A. If the defibrillator has an 8 microfarad capacitance, what is the resistance? So basically, just focus on what's given. They told you the time constant tau is going to be 10 milliseconds, but you know we need that in seconds, so just simply multiply that by 10 to the minus 3. They also told us the capacitance, but you know that we need that in uh, farads, right? They gave it to us in microfarads, so just simply take the 8 and multiply it by 10 to the minus 6. That'll be it in farads. Now they ask for resistance. Uh, how do we relate them? Uh, we relate them via the formula. Time constant is equal to the resistance multiplied by the capacitance. To solve this for R, simply just cross multiply that C on down, right? So nice and simple. And there's the formula. <clears throat> so it's going to be 10 times 10 to the minus 3 all divided by 8 times 10 to the minus 6th. And what do we get? So 10 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 8 times 10 to the minus 6th. So resistance here is about 1.25 times 10 to the 3 ohms, 1,250 or so ohms. That's the resistance. Letter B. If the initial voltage is 12 kilo volts, how long, how long does it take to decline to 6 times 10 to the 2 volts? All right. So they're talking about a now a uh, cell discharging. Okay. If the initial voltage is high and it declines, right, this is essentially in terms of volts. You know, they like to screw around with you here. So they give you kilovolts instead of volts. This is just simply 1.2 times 10 to the 4th, right, volts. Notice this went from 1.2 times 10 to the 4th to now 6 times 10 to the 2. It's discharging. You have to know the formula down here on the right-hand side. The bottom one is a discharging formula. The one right above it is for charging. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to now use that formula down there as stated. All right, we're going to use that the voltage at some period in time will equal the initial voltage multiplied by base E raised to the negative elapsed time divided by the resistance multiplied by the capacitance. So they're asking us for the time here, right? So we're going to have to do a little math. So why don't we erase some of this work now? I'm going to leave that resistance because I definitely need that. And let's move this on up front and center. Okay, let's move this on off to the side. And let's get to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mathematically solve this for, eh, you know what, I'll start plugging in some values. It might be easier. Okay, so this is 1.2, excuse me. This is essentially the voltage at some point in time in the future, not the initial. You can consider this to be final. That's fine with me. All right, does not matter. So this is 6.00 times 10 to the minus uh, times 10 to the two equals the initial, which is 1.2 times 10 to the fourth. Right, we need that all in voltage times e to the negative t over RC. Right, so what is RC? Well, RC is just the time constant. You don't need to take this right and plug it in, and then take your capacitance that was given and plug it in, because you already know the time constant. It's going to work out to be the same, so save yourself a little time. right? Just remember, though, that it's this was given in milliseconds, and we need it in just seconds. So this is just 10 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay? Now what we can do is divide out the right-hand side by 1.2 times 10 to the 4th, because I'm trying to isolate my unknown, so I'm trying to move everything away. right? So this just simply now will become 6 times 10 to the 2 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 4th. This works out to be 0 0.04. How nice. Is equal to now e to the negative t over 10 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, let me just move this a little bit. 10 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, and hopefully it's clear that that whole thing is the exponent. Let's bring this down a little bit. Now, there's nowhere to go here except to try to get rid of the e now. All right, because I got I to gotta somehow get to this T, but E's in the way. All right, now you have to know this, that uh, to get rid of the E, you will take the natural logarithm. Even if you look at your calculator, look at the button that the button of the E, right? It should be LN. So what we got to do here is we got to take the natural log of both sides. In other words, take the natural log of the left-hand side. And then you're going to take the natural log of the right-hand side. Now what happens here is that the ln essentially cancels the e, and whatever the exponent is, the entirety of the exponent is then brought down. Okay, It's not an exponent anymore, it's just like a line item. 
Okay. So what happens, so how I'm going to rewrite this now is just like this. I could throw this into the calculator now to calculate, but I'm not going to. The way it would be rewritten now is ln of 0 0.04 is equal to now negative t over 10 times 10 to the minus 3. Right? It canceled the e. It brought this thing down. Now it becomes a nice simple line item and a simple formula to solve. Okay? This is an actual number. You can plug it into your calculator and find it. Okay, but essentially what's going to happen is we're going to cross multiply this term on out of the numerator of the denominator and into the numerator on the right hand side. Right, so that would leave us with that negative t is equal to then do the cross multiplication there. So ln of 0 0.04 times 10 times 10 to the minus 3. And notice it's a negative number, 0 0.0322 I guess. Right, that's in seconds, but notice both sides are negative, so uh, just get rid of it. All right, or divide by negative one if you want to do that, doesn't matter. All works out the same. And there's elapsed time. That's how long. Okay, that's how long. That's it. All right, not very long because the time constant is very short. So, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, that helps. If it did, help us out. Tell your classmates, tell your friends. Take care.